Hello, let's review some distance formulas. First of all, the distance between two points is the length of the vector connecting the two points. For all distances, we need to know the dot and cross product, as well as some properties like the identities you see here on this slide. <clears throat> We also need to know that the area of a parallelogram is the length of the cross product of the vectors spanning them and that the volume of a parallel epiped is this triple scalar product of the vectors spanning it. Also useful is the vector projection. So when projecting v onto w we get the vector parallel to w and its signed length uh, is the scalar projection of the or component. <clears throat> Planes are either given as a parametrization using two parameters, here called s and t, or by an implicit equation of the form ax plus by plus cz is equal to d. A line can be parameterized if we know a point and a vector in the line. The distance between a point and the line can be read off using trigonometry. It's the length of QP times the sine of the angle between V and QP. By multiplying and dividing simultaneously by the length of V, we can get rid of the sine and get the distance in terms of the cross product. Alternatively, we can see this also geometrically. Uh, look at the parallelogram spanned by QP and V compute its area and divide by the base length. This gives the height, uh, which is the distance of P to the line. The distance between a point and the plane can be seen again using the definition of uh, trigonometry. Uh, again, we can multiply and divide by the length of n, so to get that we get a formula without trigonometry, and it's the dot product of p, q, and n divided by the length of n. Also here, uh, the formula makes sense geometrically. It's the volume of the parallel epiped spanned, spanned by the vectors p, q, v, and w divided by the area of the uh, parallelogram. You can see this also as the uh, scalar projection, absolute value of the scalar projection of p, q onto the normal vector v cross w. The distance uh, between two lines, uh, we do the same thing. We just uh, compute the, do this multiplication trick, multiplying and dividing by n simultaneously, and then we get uh, a f we can replace the top with a dot product, and we get the same formula than we had seen before for the distance between the point and the plane. <clears throat> Or we can again see this as the height of a parallel epiped, which is the volume divided by its base area. This works if the lines are not parallel. If the lines should be parallel, you just pick a point on one line and take the distance between the other line. And simultaneously, the best way to compute the distance between two parallel planes is to compute the distance between a point and one plane and the other plane. <clears throat> so that's all make sure you check out also the handout which we had posted on our course website